the shower pan that we're going to show you how to set in a mortar bed. So right now what I just did was we're test fitting this to make sure that with this one that it's still in the same location and matches up so we didn't have to do anything with the drain line. Then I'm going to take out the pan here. As you can see, this is why the old shower pan failed basically, is we've got a huge hole here. What do you think of that tiger? We've got a huge hole here. Uh, that we're going to actually, I'm going to show you guys how before we actually set the pan or do it in a mortar bed. We're going to wrap this with some foam, uh, backfill it with a bunch of sand, and then put probably about a two to three inch layer of concrete in here and smooth it out before we do the mortar bed so that way we have a better base so that this next pan doesn't fail like the old one did. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna wrap this pipe in foam. Wood. 
then you're going to want to put this down anyway to help protect the wood. And I just run it up the wall just a little bit, and then you can, if it's up too far, you can just cut it off, even with the studs. Okay, so each shower pan bottom, depending on the manufacturer, is going to be a little bit different design on the bottom. So this one, by looking at it, will help me determine how thick I need to put the mortar bed down. And that's about an inch deep, an inch and a half on the outside. It goes a little thinner in by the drain there. So I'm gonna put it down at about, about an inch and a half depth to an inch depth on the inch and a half on the outside and about an inch deep on the middle part there. Also, you can see, if you look real close here, this is uh, actually what it'll be resting on, whether on your wood floor or your concrete slab, these points here. So if we need to shim it at all to get it level, we'll be just putting a shim under these points here, here, either in the front or along the back. Say hi, Tiger. Anyway, uh, that's where we'll be shimming it if we need to make it level. So just kind of keep in mind where those are at. So once you get it in, it's easier to get a shim under it if we need to. Five-pass mortar mix and a five-gallon bucket. This is not consistency of a thin sheet of butter. I'm using one five-gallon bucket. Our mortar all mixed up. We're going to spread some out. Like it's got to be a little bit thicker on the outside part. We don't need to go all the way to the walls with it. So I'm going to put about half a bucket there and the other half on this side. And we don't need to go too close to the center hole here. So what we're gonna do is just kind of spread this out evenly. Like I said, a little bit thinner near the center here and a little bit thicker towards the back sides over here. So 
we're going to hold this back corner down and put in the clip that comes with it. something too on this is if you've got to shim it we have to shim this one but a lot of times if you have to shim it then uh, we want to make sure that that mortar mix gets down in so what you can do is take I'm not gonna get one but what you can do is take a, like an orbital sander vibrating sander and not have any pads on it or have the pad on it but no sandpaper on it and actually vibrate around on this and what it'll do is help that mortar to settle down. So if you've got it up and you, you've propped up one side and you've got one pin that's underneath a shim and the other, this next one isn't really under a shim, but you vibrate that mortar mix, it'll go down and underneath that to support it better. We don't need to do that on this one, but that's another thing that you could do. And once this dries, we'll be able to put the walls in. But that's basically how you do a mortar bed on a shower pan. And tomorrow when it's all dry, this is going to sound really, really solid and there won't be any flex to it at all. Shower pan is set overnight, so I just wanted to show you guys real quick how much more solid that makes it. You can tell it's not going to move, it's not going to collapse. We did actually a bathtub too where we did a mortar bed on it. And you can see the mortar bed underneath that one. It makes it just a much more solid installation.